There's a bite. Got one. Oh, he feels like a pretty good one. Hey everyone, it's a beautiful November day. It's the kind of high pressure day that can make fishing pretty tough. There's been so many different tackle trends over the last few years as far as in the finesse category. To try to clarify some of the Nico rigs versus wacky rigs and different things like that. I've got a few different body shapes and styles and weighted, unweighted, Nico and wacky. Just the different ways you rig it and how you fish it. So I'm out here at a local pond. As you can tell, I'm kind of under the weather. I hope I get better really quick here because I'm getting to getting ready to go on a hunting trip with my son, which I'm looking forward to. And he is probably way more than I am just because uh, he's, he's a hunter by nature for sure. It's a Saturday afternoon and I've been just kind of nursing my, this congestion and stuff I've been going through. We came out to some ponds that are pretty close to where I live. A lot of times the difference between throwing a Nico rig and a wacky rig is just the ability to get bites. On specific days those fish are gonna to want to bite one more than the other and you want to be clued into that as much as you can and we're here at the pond it's a beautiful day and we're gonna go ahead and see how many fish we can catch and which ones they like better wacky rig or Nico rig what do you guys think comment below we'll see what happens who do you think is gonna catch the biggest one my son <laughs> or me if he does catch the biggest ones probably because I'm not feeling that good no I'm Whack. kidding for wacky rig and Nico rig I really like spinning rods and reels some guys prefer casting rods, but I really like, I like like a seven foot, this is a seven foot medium action extra fast tip. That's what I mean by an extra fast tip right there. It's like you've got backbone down the length of the rod and it's just still medium, medium action, but it still stays pretty stout until the last say two feet of rod. And that's where you've got the tip. And that helps with lure placement, but also setting the hook, shaky heads, wacky rigs and even Nico rigs. I think it's the ideal action for this type of thing. The uh, Luz TLC 3000 Custom Pro spinning reel. Really like this, fished it all year on tour and, and handled well every time I had a need for it. And I brought this little box that I made up of some different things. I brought these new Jungle Wacky Hooks by Owner. They're really cool. They, they're made out of that, uh, that uh, Zo wire, silky, they got that silky gray finish got a two watt and they got the Wii guard which is really cool another thing I've got is some wacky weights those work really well for Nico rigging specifically this is kind of a secret but I'm kind of letting it out of the bag this is the dream shot made for drop shotting obviously but that dude works well that baby finesse worm that works great for wacky or Nico I got some of these uh, wacky saddles and owners got another hook that looks really cool for more of a wacky rig presentation the sniper finesse weedless got a titanium guard just like the other one again that zo wire silky gray finish size one aught and then you know you got to have ochos for wacky rig in the four inch and then you've got the standard five inch and then sometimes I like a big worm like a it's not really a big worm six and a half inch finesse worm pretty much sums up what I brought and what I think I would need for today to kind of go over some different applications for wacky and Nico today with the conditions we have I would probably start with a Nico rig because the Nico you've got a weight in the head and it'll kind of get down lower in the water column when you got these bright sunny days like this I think a lot of times those fish will get down closer to the bottom when it's a little more overcast we've got a little bit of wind to kind of create a ripple cause uh, some of that light to break up first thing when I throw that wacky rig out there is I want it to I want it to sink to the bottom untethered, like without putting any any draw on it. I want it to sink naturally to the bottom. That ocho or soft stick bait's gonna shimmy down to the bottom. When it's shimmying down to the bottom, that's the that's the natural attraction to get those fish to come over and pick up that offering that base. There's a bite. Got one. Oh, he feels like a pretty good one. Not as big as I thought he would be, but that's a nice way to start off. Gosh, look how pretty in this really clear water. Look how pretty the colors are on that one. Got them on that owner sniper finesse hook. And the wacky rig Nico style. Pretty healthy little fish, pond fish. Gosh, this beautiful colors right there. Well, that worked out. Post frontal, my hunch about them 
wanting to be closer to the bottom, I'd say is probably closer to hitting the mark than the wacky was. And for a Nico rig, this little dream shot's a great bait. Start in here, try to keep it about as close to center as you can and also keeping it as straight as you can. Push it out in there a little bit further. There you go. And now you should rig it Nico style like you would anything else. I like to kind of put it right real close behind the weight. Nico rigging the Strike King Dream Shot. This little tail just likes to shimmy as it falls. Total post frontal, dude. This is tough bite. Uh oh, Daniel's hooked up. Nice. Wacky rig. Little pond bass right there. Way to go. There's one. Not a very big one. Little pond bass. Again, on the Nico, on that little last little piece of wood out there, just barely got him, too. Boy, that water temperature must have dropped a bunch in the last five days. Pretty little pond bass. That water is just so clear. That Nico setup, you can see the weight in there. A neat bait. You don't really hear anybody talk about it for Nico rigging. It's a unique presentation the fish haven't seen very much of. There's another one. There we go. They're around those isolated pieces of wood. Dear old dad's putting it on the youngster. People think that if you go to a pond, you catch a big fish in a pond, that, well, it kind of doesn't count because it's in a pond. You trick a fish anywhere, you've done something because uh, they still adhere to the same conditions that you would in a lake. This is a perfect spot to kind of show what the Nico rig is like. So the Nico rig is kind of a different presentation in that because it's weighted, it falls head first. I don't know if you can see that in the water. Actually, the tail sticks up too, where the wacky rig actually falls horizontally. When it comes to knots for braid to fluorocarbon, it's really hard to beat that FG knot. It's the best knot I've seen for a junction knot, and that's what I use for my spinning. Actually, I try to use this knot, the FG knot, for all, all braid to mono, braid to fluorocarbon. It's just that, it's just that good. Got one. Came off that little piece of wood over there. So we're definitely on a pattern. Which on a bright post frontal day like this with not much wind, you would think that's where they would be relating to cover. Little guy, they're getting smaller instead of bigger. This is one for the aquarium right here. Nico rig has seemed to be the, the major player because my son's got a wacky rig and he's caught one. He's had a couple packs, but he hasn't caught as many as I have. Of course, I am running down the bank ahead of him. So property we're on is filled with these little lakes like this. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful property, beautiful little lakes. They're all pretty clear. Daniel's been throwing the wacky rig gocho and I'm throwing the uh, Nico rigged dream shot. On the other pond, he actually caught a couple, two, three of them, just kind of soaking it in one area, just kind of fishing one little spot. And he caught three and I, I think we've both caught four total, but he's tied the score up. Little guy. Not really what you want to catch when you're trying to show somebody <laughs> the 
potency of a technique, but honestly, it's still showing the value of it. We're definitely not getting the quality that you'd hope you'd get for demonstrating a technique or something like that, but honestly, just getting any bites on a day like today, pretty good considering just this high pressure system coming through post frontal cold water. Looks like the pond has, has come up to water level wise, recent influx of colder, fresh water. We're just catching little ones today. Daniel with another one. Way to go, big guy. Putting the smack down on him and me. Good job. Basically, kind of a lift and fall, just like the Nico rig, but it doesn't fall head first. It just kind of shimmies. Both ends will kind of shake a little bit and quiver as it falls horizontally, which really slows the fall. The fact that it's just all falling based on its weight because of the salt that's impregnated in the bait. Kind of a different animal than the Nika. And they're all just little bitty pond bass. They're still a lot of fun. Oh, I got him right in the corner of the mouth. That's where you really want them. You really want to catch them right there in that membrane or behind that little jaw, that little mouth plate right there to the mouth. A sweep to the side is definitely a good way to get them. Oh, bite. The guy just took, ate it on the sink and started swimming at me. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing that pays when you're when you're line watching, I threw out there my line just jumped and he started swimming at me. Put the finishing touches on my pond classic championship right here today. It's pretty fish. This is the that's how I rigged the Nico rig. You can tell there's a weight in there, I kind of got it off a little crooked, but that's the way I like to rig the Nico rig so that when it falls nose down that the hook stays out of the cover and the weed guard does its job. And then on the wacky rig, I like to rig it just like that. Or with that little wacky saddle, that worked well too. Right in the center, right there, so it falls evenly. And this is gonna fall horizontally and quiver it goes, it goes down to the bottom, where that Nico rig is definitely gonna fall tail or nose first and actually stand up for a little bit. So it's two great little finesse tactics that have just in the last few years just really put a lot of money in, the, in a lot of pro anglers pockets because there's days like this where it's bright and still and calm and post frontal where these are the ways to catch we didn't catch any big ones today but had a lot of fun only spent like uh just over two hours here with my son it was fun to get out on the pond but uh through the wacky rig and the nico rig and the wacky rig definitely caught more today wacky rig nico rig it's your choice actually it's the fish's choice they'll tell you what they want that's just the way i fish it 10 pound test fluorocarbon, gamma fluorocarbon, 10 or 12 pound test, Strike King tour grade braided line. I prefer the yellow, keep it simple, especially when it comes to my finesse gear, you can make it pretty difficult, but there's no need to do that. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. Hope you guys like this. Good fishing.